Hi, this is a demonstration of elastic search forecasting feature which is available from the version 6.1.1. The forecasting feature takes the historic data, the previous data and depending on the pattern which it has already learned through machine learning, it predicts the future uh, in terms of days on how the forecasting would be. So currently I have an index of server metrics data which has some of the details such as the number of accepts, number of denies, the host name, the response time, the application and the total. So this ingestion of the data can be seen in my Elasticsearch machine learning module which I have explained. So currently let's start with a single metric job. So I'm creating a single metric job of server metrics as the index and I'm doing a mean of the total responses from the whole server data with a bucket span of 15 minutes. So I have this trend. So I'll just create a job called test forecasting and I'll create this job. Now the machine learning learns according to the data and it has finished. Now I'll click on view results and see the machine learning data which has learned on its own. Now for forecasting you have a button over here on the right hand top corner forecast just click the button and you just have to give the duration on how much days it has to forecast. So I'm just giving seven days that is one week of forecast from the data which is available. Run the module and you can see the forecast over here. So the blue ones which you see on the left hand side is the original data and the shaded yellow ones on the right is the forecasted data. So depending on uh, the number of days the forecast shows and here you have the show bound the show model bounds which will show the bounds of the model and even the forecast. There is a checkbox button where you can see the forecast and disappear it. Then you can do once again a forecast with different number of days. For example, I'm doing a forecast of 10 days and you can see that below. So for uh, more accuracy, you can just take out the values, which is nothing but the predicted values, upper bound and lower bound, which is from the normal one and then the predicted one. So here you can see that the uh, normal data would be having a value upper bound, lower bound and the predicted value will have a prediction upper bound and lower bound and the timeline is also taken as as there in the previous data. So this is the forecasting module which will help to predict how uh, the uh, trend is and how the future trend could be from Elasticsearch. Thanks for watching the video.